Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create your first VB script and call it from my push button on a Siemens comfort panel. In my project, I've created a screen that's called my scripting screen. It contains an I.O. field that is assigned an integer tag called word underscore one. We're going to create a script that we're going to assign to the cycle value push button that will cycle a value or increment the word underscore one tag up to a maximum value. When it reaches the maximum value, it will um, reset the value back down to zero so it's ready for counting back up. I've also added an alarm uh, view object on the screen. So that is this object here. So it is set to an alarm buffer so this will allow us to display messages uh, while our script is executing. So it's a way to display debug messages. So let's get started creating the script. We need to move over to our project tree and then locate the scripts area in the project tree. Expand that out, expand VB scripts, and then double click add new VB function. This uh, opens up the VB script editor. So we've got some comments here with some nice keyboard shortcuts like Control J and Control Space. These are for bringing up object references or a list of functions. There's also an instructions area on the right hand side with code templates and a function list. The code templates allow you to insert these templates right in your code. Very nice. There's also a function list where you can pick predefined functions or functions that have already been created, fill in the parameters, and then use those um, to be inserted into your code. So this uh, function that we inserted, VB function one, we can change its name. Okay, so maybe I want it to be VB cycle mode. Mm -hmm. So that you can see that its name is changed up here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a local variable and it's going to be called temp val. I'm going to set the temp val equal to the value of a tag. So I'm going to utilize the shortcut Control J. So I position my cursor, press Control J on the keyboard, and that brings up a, a tag browser, object browser. So I'll select word underscore one and accept it. Press enter a few times. What I want to do next is insert an if then else structure. So I'll come over to code templates, make sure my cursor is positioned where I want it, double click on the if then else statement. That inserts the if then else statement into my code. Then there's this condition area. We have to fill in the condition. So if this condition is true, it will execute the statements between the then and the else. If the condition is false, it executes the statements between else and end if. So my condition is going to be the temp val is less than 2. My statement here, I'm going to change this to be the temp val is going to be equal to the temp val plus 1. So that's going to increment the temp val. Here I will select temp val and I will put it equal to zero. So this is when it reaches the maximum. Then what I have to do, because I'm storing this in a local variable, the temp val here, what I'm going to have to do is set the actual real world tag equal to our local variable. So this time I position my cursor down here and I'm going to go up to the toolbar and I'm going to pick list the object. So this is an object browser and I will pick my word underscore one tag and then I will set it equal to temp val. Now I mentioned we could display diagnostic messages so we're going to add in some diagnostic messages into our code. So the first thing I'm going to do is up here on line 8 I'm going to insert a function, so I'm going to come over to the function area and I am going to look under alarms and I'm going to find the show system alarm function. The show system alarm function allows you to display a text message or an integer or like a numeric value. So I'm going to select the drop down here and I'm going to pick string and then I'm going to say that my script has started. All right, so that is the code. Make sure my cursor is positioned where I like. When I hit the apply button here, this function gets inserted into my code with the proper syntax. So I can come down to the bottom of my script. And if I want to put in another function here, and I can say the script has ended. So make sure my cursor is positioned, hit the apply button, and that inserts that function in here. So now I can see when my script has started and when it has ended. I'm going to press the button here in the upper left hand corner to check for syntax errors. So I should get zero errors, zero warnings, so that's good. 
Now I'm going to open up my scripting screen. I need to call my script. So I will highlight my cycle value button and make sure that I come over to the properties area and then select events. On the press event, I would want to select add function and then select the drop down and scroll all the way down to the bottom because any user defined functions will show up in this VB functions area. So I will select VB cycle mode. So that is the function that I just created. So once I have done that, I will highlight my HMI. I will start the simulation. So it'll start compiling my project, start the runtime simulation. Go to my scripting screen. I'm going to clear out the messages so that I can just see the messages from my script. Now when I press the cycle value button, you can see the message shows up. The script has started, script ended. Press it one more time and you can keep seeing the messages show up. And then ultimately when it reaches the maximum value, it resets back down to zero. So in this lesson, I showed you how to create your first VB script and call it on a Siemens Comfort panel.